Wu here, Jameel Warney. I just got him. I'm, I'm, I'm on campus at uh, Rutgers. You can see the, the R logo <laughs> right here. Let's turn around. This dude appears. What's going on, man? Nothing at all. Just uh, come up here to uh, see my guys, Jay, Steve, uh, Brian Dewar. He's all my guys, so I'm happy to be here. Um, I I actually wanted to shoot something with you last year, you know, but then you were always in and out, yeah. right? Taking, finishing classes, and then training camp, whatever. Uh, first year finished, correct? Yeah. Um, Dallas Mavericks, minor league, D league team. How was that? Uh, it was great. I mean, it was a it was a process. Uh, once I got cut from the Mavericks, uh, I had a few days off to kind of recover. I kind of hurt my ankle in the beginning of the training camp, so just trying to recover from that. Then a few days later, I went to Frisco, Texas, to get ready for that season to start. So it was it was a process all year. I learned from one of the best coaches in the D League and Bob McKinnon. Uh, I had some I had a lot of good teammates. Uh, we had a lot of a lot of teammates come in and out. Uh, Quincy AC was there, Pierre Jackson, Manny Harris, Tony uh, Rowan, uh, Gary Neal. I can go on and on about yeah. all the XMA players who, who was in the who was on our team. Uh, it was fun, and uh, I started to really gain some traction once I once after All Star break, I started playing well, and uh, we was winning some games. So I mean, I finished the season off on a good note. So you you got injured at the regular camp. Regular, if you didn't get injured, would you have been on? the NBA team potentially? Was uh, there a chance? Uh, you always think there's a chance if you make it to a training camp roster, okay. uh, but um, it's kind of made myself limited. I had a high ankle sprain, so there was some days where I could barely walk, and it was just literally... But you, you stepped on somebody? Yeah, I stepped on someone's ankle and the, a week before training camp started, oh, so it was it was hard to just keep on playing, but uh, I, I, I kind of toughed it out. So, uh -huh. so, I mean, it was an ongoing injury all season until... Oh. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, I've been getting healthy off of that, and I'm 100% now, and uh, it's great. It's um, now, you don't tape it, or you tape? Oh, uh, yeah, I tape all the time, but the time I sprained my ankle, I, I have it taped. Oh, so, yeah. man, why didn't you get it taped? Uh, you know, I mean, just uh, it was a optional workout at the time with the Mavericks uh, yeah. all the rookies up there and uh, I just didn't think nothing would happen of that no big deal right? yeah, yeah. I, 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 we, we was there two weeks prior to that and I I was fine all, I didn't tape it in summer league neither and I was just fine so I'm like hey I mean let's keep on rolling the dice and it caught up to me it caught Boom. up to me yep it caught up to me Jamil. I know uh, okay so your D league season finished um, when did that finish uh, our last game was uh, April 1st. Okay. Uh, we didn't make the playoffs. Uh, we, I think we were a few games out. So yeah. uh, we was done uh, April 1st, and I got home April 3rd. So. Okay. How was, how, uh, how was your statistics on, uh, in the league, league this year? What did you say one more time? How was your st 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 <laughs> statistics? Uh, was your stats? It, it was good. I mean, um, I played every game hard. I mean, uh, I kind of had a lot of different roles during the season yeah. uh, with all the ex NBA players uh, and NBA players coming in and out. Right, right, right. Cause yeah, you're I, shuffling around. Yeah, I was. At, sometimes I didn't play that much. Um, some games I was the fifth option. Some days I have to get most of my points off the glass. Um, no plays ran for me. But I mean, that's the great part about our offense. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of possessions, so you can kind of. Get your points there. Uh, then I kind of took over after uh, after All Star break. I mean, we kind of had like our roster set for the rest of the year. So I mean, we kind of I, I, I guess I was a good solid third option. Uh, okay. We had uh, Pierre Jackson, who, who was the best point guard in the league, and we had the leading scorer in our, in, it was Manny Harris, and he left for he left on his two ten days to Dallas. So mm -hmm. it was really just Pierre Jackson, and then a lot of plays running for me. So I mean, I scored a lot. After All Star break, but I, I ended I end the season well. I was like seventeen and eight. So. Nice, nice. But having all the switches kind of stimulated your preparation for like later on as well. Yeah, I mean, it also helped me out to just know, um, just be prepared for everything. Uh, yeah. Just one day I could be the fifth option. In one game I don't play that much, and then another game turn around I play forty minutes and uh, get a lot of touches, and I won't be aggressive. So I got to be prepared every every day for something different. 
Um, was there something you learn deep, like a turn of a page this year that you could say? Like, there's one special thing you learn. Um, it don't. It it could be on the court. Uh, skill, or it could be something like on the bench where you process, like mentally, like a light bulb win. Uh, just keep my confidence up and uh, just keep on being aggressive in the minutes you have. Uh, I mean, at the times where I wasn't playing as much, you kind of just get a kind of get your shoulders slumped, your head down a little bit. But you got to yeah. know that it's a long season. If your confidence is shot, you have you have no shot of doing anything on the court. So uh. you have to, and you also have to, also have to be ready because your number can be called at any time. Uh, you just got to be ready to play. Uh, always have uh, great intensity, great aggressiveness, because there's a lot of scouts are watching. So you don't want to embarrass yourself and uh, have some have some teams cross you off the list. So is the math scouts only come into your games, or like all all, uh, all teams? Uh, that's, that's a good thing about our coach uh, Bob McKinnon. Uh, he's always reaching out to other coaches. Um, mm-hmm. a, lot, a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot of scouts. So a lot of scouts came to our game. I mean, we also had like. A lot of uh, NBA call-ups this year. We had a yeah. AC who went to the Brooklyn Nets. Gary Neal went to the Hawks. Uh, was he Yogi? Yogi was also. Uh, he right? played on. He played on Long Island Nets. So okay. He, he, he wasn't. Oh, he was on Long Nets. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Pierre Jackson went to the Mavs and then came back. Manny Harris went to the Mavs, came back. So I mean, we have we had a lot of call-ups. So um, a lot of scouts came to our game because we had, I guess, a repu- reputation of having good players. And mm-hmm. so it wasn't just the Mavs. It was just a, the whole like league what's uh what's the fan base like over there oh it's crazy we have we have a great arena in frisco how, how big is it uh it, dr pepper arena is pretty big like uh what do you what did you say five thousand uh i would say five thousand definitely bigger than definitely bigger than where i played at stony brook but definitely way bigger I, I went to the westchester game it's crazy fun oh. it's like family atmosphere i don't know how it is over but because my friend's on d league ref he's one of those refs yeah um, but he said the Red Claw one is like a college campus. No, the Frisco one is uh, it's, and Erie also. Yeah, the Frisco one is like they have, like, the kids can have fun too. It's like a kid. They're kid, right there a, with a, a you. Right? Friendly environment. Yeah. Like, like it's kind of hard. Like the kids are always loud because I mean they're loud for the wrong reason. <laughs> they're yeah. loud because there's a big playpen in the back. Oh, and, okay. And, and rock climbing on the other side. Oh. So the parents, it's literally a, a daycare, basically. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the parents would just drop the kids off, let them have fun, and then uh, they can watch the game. And after the game, we sign, uh, we spend 15 minutes, 20 minutes signing autographs for the kids. It went to went lose. So, I mean, uh-huh. it's great. I mean, we get back to the community a lot. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, what's the feedback that they gave you afterwards? What you mean? Um, after the season was over. Uh, I mean, I put myself, I put myself in a great position. I believe I did. Hand down. On my phone. Yeah, no, it's okay. I put myself in a great position to, uh, for the summer league. I mean, I was kind of disappointed I didn't get a call up this year. Okay. But, but I mean, hey, you got you, you got a long time, yeah, man. Yeah, you, you have a long. I mean, I put myself in a better position than last year. I was coming out of Stony Brook. Really, no one really knew who I was. So yeah. I really, kind of, kind of improved over and over again so scouts are now looking at me uh more seriously yeah, more seriously to see if, if they want me on the roster and stuff so okay so i mean so sorry to interrupt you this summer you're playing for the maps uh, in orlando i don't know who i'm playing with in vegas yet okay so your map contract is finished yeah gotcha mass contracts finished now you play in orlando f- with the mavericks yeah and then Whoever happens to be next in Summer League Vegas. Yes. Got it. Yeah. Um, are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. I mean, it's, it's a big it's a big summer for me, uh, I believe. Um, I kind of have to keep on improving my stock and just showing teams that I can be a real good asset for the team yeah. to go into the next season. Where are you working out? Since uh, you came back April till now, obviously recovering too. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 really comfortable with my guys over here at Rutgers. So uh-huh. I lift with uh, the sh- uh, strengthening coach all the time here. here. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, he's really good. I mean, he helped me transform my body, my freshman to my senior. Nice. So we have videos. I have videos of you at Roselle. Yeah, so I mean, it, it, it's a testament to him. So I mean, I'm comfortable with him helping me out. Um, they have they have a great trainer, and it's Rutgers have a lot of great resources so why not take the 15 30 minute drive to rockers yeah. and uh and work out every day yeah you should like 
You should have brought Justin over. But he's working out at Texas. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's at working out at UT because um, his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw so that movie, yeah. so uh, they're over there. Um, tell me, how was your living experience over in Fresno? Uh, Frisco, well, Frisco. Fr- Frisco, yeah, Frisco. Uh, it was it was nice. I mean, Frisco's a really improving uh city in a. In, in is it a young town? Is it a middle aged town, or uh, is it like more? I want to say it's a young town. I mean, uh, it really started expanding uh, uh-huh. a few years back. Uh, the I think the Dallas Cowboy new practice facility is in Frisco. Oh, it's it's close by to Dallas. Yeah, like. they, 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 yeah, it's a thirty minute drive. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I had a I had a nice living situation. Um, I lived in a two bedroom apartment for most of the season. With your room with uh, one of the teammates. No, I had it to myself, which, which was lovely. And, and they covered it, or yeah, yes, it's, that's part of the contract. They got to cover. Okay, it. so you get paid and you get coverage. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's new. I mean, it's, 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 or to be honest, uh, it's not that much money to. Yeah. So if you have the. But it's better than New York. Yeah. Like if you're at Westchester, you're paying a lot of money. Yeah. So I mean, then um, like during the middle of the season, I moved to a, like a studio apartment. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I, I mean, it was a nice situation. I, I yeah. Lived, I lived uh, like five minutes away from the arena. <sighs> Two minutes away from like the practice facility, like we practice yeah. at. So I mean, it was, it was a nice living situation. A lot of, a lot of places, a lot of convenient places, a lot of supermarkets, a lot of food places uh-huh. to go to. So it was nice. So so now you've been working out, training, getting ready for Orlando, Orlando, um, and uh, you have. We were just talking. Do you have like a run rate considering for yourself? Like, hey, I'm gonna try to focus this to get into the league. And is there an option B as well? Is it one time? Sorry. Meaning, you know, you could fo- you're focusing on NBA. Yeah. Right. Um, what is your NBA deadline like for you internally? Uh, I said I'll give it probably another year. I mean, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, uh, I'm doing something I love, but yeah. I, I need I need to start making money sooner. Right, 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 right. right. Uh, so I can help me with my second part of my life uh, yeah. when I start having family and stuff. Absolutely. So, I mean, I need to start making money sooner or later. Um, before you signed with the Mavs, before you did last year, you had a couple, I'm sure you had a bunch of offers. Where were they? Just out of curiosity. Uh, there were, I had a, uh, the one that really stick out was the one in Korea. I mean, it was, it was a, it yeah, was, oh, was, I heard, I heard about of, that one. I of, heard about that one. a lot of money, but like, uh, me. You uh, you would have just called me up. I would have been your advisor right there, man. The thing is, uh, I, I'm I'm taking this challenge right now. Like, uh-huh. I, I want to, I'm I, I want to prove it wrong first. So yeah, I, try to see if you could get yeah, in the door. Just yeah, knock knock these, it through. Like these two years, I think are vital for me. Like I'm yeah. I'm, I'm young. I'm, yep. I'm I, I believe I'm I have some elite skills in my skill sets. I want to keep on showing it, but if I can't just keep on trying to show them year, year after year after year, and no one's gonna pay attention to me. I gotta start making yeah, money. Yeah, gotta single. gotta make your money somewhere else. Yeah. You gotta go find your lane. You yeah, know, so um, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So. Uh, so so you yeah that Korea offer. I remember that Korea offer. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Was it you told me or someone else told me about it? Yeah, nah, it, it, it was. It was. It was up there. Yeah, it was. Up it, there. Was up there, it was up there. I heard. Um, did they recontact you this year, or? Uh, I mean, yeah, some uh, some teams. Uh, I, I forgot. Kennedy's what, your agent, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. One one league offered me a, a lot of money for what league. country? This for, so far. Uh, I, I gotta. I, I'm always curious about country and city and country more than like. Yeah, I, I remember after the season, uh, the Philippines wanted me to go over there for for just a few weeks. Uh, I think a few months. So okay. Yeah, but I was like, uh, I really gotta recover from this ankle injury. Yeah, I've, I've yeah, been yeah. Pu- I've been pushing for for at least a few months now. Um, now all money is good money. Yeah, all money. Uh, I think Puerto Rico offered uh, me some. Um, that's a good one. Yeah, and uh, Jamil in Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, nah, and uh, I think Korea offered me again over for like their little. I think yeah, I think because. But of, but nothing in Europe like. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm positive I can get anything. I, I, I can get something in Europe. Or he just he just never feel the calls from Europe. Like, uh, I mean, I, I don't I, know how the whole thing works. It's a bigger wheel than. You yeah, know. and I mean, he he's a great agent. So I mean, he 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 tell me the offers that 
have the big money sign. So, yeah. So, I mean, if there's not that much money, I'm not going to. Okay. No, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Absolutely. You got to do what's best for you, yeah. you know, and for your future. Um, working out here throughout summer, leaving next week, Tuesday. Tuesday starts? Uh, I go to Orlando Tuesday. Uh, I think you start. I think you start later later that it's week. It's one whole week, right? I yeah, think. Yeah. And then you come back. No, I don't. I got. I, go, I think I go straight to Vegas. You go straight to Vegas. Yeah. Oh, oh, because they're gonna call you. So your your agent's gonna tell you like who you're gonna be yeah. with. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna go to Vegas. Mm-hmm. You're gonna try to ball out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's pretty dope. That's yeah, pretty dope. That's exciting. Yeah. Bu- busy July. Busy July. Um, what do you? Draft is tonight. Yeah. Are you focused or don't really care? Uh, I mean, I'm, I think it's... Because well, when you're a pro, you remember when you came out of high school, you got to college, you played a year or two, you just totally forgot about all those young yeah. high school rankings. So, like, now you're a pro. Do you even care about the draft? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I feel like the draft is like a national holiday. I, I, feel like, <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like everybody's tuned into the draft. I mean, the people who don't even, like, really watch basketball like that just tune oh, into yeah. the draft to see, like, who, like, the top players going where. Yeah. And... Everybody loved the the NBA draft, NBA panic dra- uh, trades and that. Yeah, draft. everybody yeah. loved that. So I want to see wh- which kind of trades are made today, and which ones are foolish, and which one are not. So okay, who uh, what do you, who are you looking to see like where they go? Uh, I mean, you, you kind of can already tell like the first two picks. Uh, right. I guess you Fulton wanna, Ball. Yeah. So you're waiting for three to thirty, the, mm-hmm. the first round, but the first. Like ten picks in the second round are pretty interesting too, mm. but and that's where most of the trades started happening. Yeah, teams start trading down, teams start trading up, teams looking for uh, diamonds in the rough. Um, some some like you, yeah. So he's he's available. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, so they're just that's I feel like the second round. That's where staff. I mean, with the scouting teams really come in and just yeah, really, really. really really make their money off of. So. Um. Isaiah from your high school, you guys never played it with each other. He transferred in after you you graduated. Um, what do you think? Where do you think he'll go? Uh, or, I mean, he's I, he's definitely out of round one. Then hope uh, round two. I mean, the thing is, uh, he's a good guard out of Kentucky. So, uh, uh, so you already know Cal Fire have a lot of pull around here. So you probably. Yeah. Probably sell them to someone. But who shoots a better jump shot between you two? Uh, who shoots a better jump shot between you two? I don't know. I haven't seen him shot. In, I haven't seen him shot in a while. But I yeah. know I'm working on my jump shot a lot. So, but I'll, I'll give him, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Like on the mid range jumper, you know, like yeah. who will win the mid range jumper contest? I don't know. Right now, I give him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, okay. he's he's been working out a lot over wherever he's working at. So I, I yeah. say I say he's improving. So uh-huh. I mean. I I I give him the benefit of the doubt, but I know um, he, he gonna get put in a good situation so he can show his skills yeah. and um, he'll, he'll have a he have a good career, I believe so. So, um, any of these young guys you paying attention to or not really in high school level? Uh, high school coming up around around the neighborhood. Uh, I mean, I'm always focused on um, my guys over at Roosevelt Catholic. I mean, those okay. those guys are because I'm. I kind of hold like a, a deep yeah, tie. Yeah, of course, so, of course. So I mean, I'm kind of curious to see where uh, Nas go. Nas okay. Reed, so I mean, but uh, I talk to my guys sometimes. Uh, Nate Pierre going to yeah, yeah, going he's to going to Temple. Temple. That's yeah. a good fit for yeah, him. He's, he, That's a great fit. I, for I him. play with him. I play with uh, pick up with them sometimes. And he's yeah. just how's athlete. he doing right he's now? He's athletic. He's uh-huh. really athletic. I, I forgot. I forgot how athletic he was. Oh, he he plays hard. He plays yeah, hard. So. Um, but I just think tempo is the right level, yeah, right fit, yeah. and he'll get a good amount of minutes. Yeah, no, he will, he'll, he'll have a good career over there. So. Yeah. Uh, who else was there? That's it, right? Kind of. Uh, the kid from Chicago was is there? Uh, Khalil, I think. Wit, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 you play, you play well sometimes. So. Okay, yeah. okay. And then Rafis left. Oh Andre, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And now he just decommitted from TCU. Yeah, I actually never met the guy, so like, so hey, it's just. <laughs> Oh, hopefully he finds a, a great spot for him. I mean, he probably wasn't comfortable with the TCU mm-hmm. deal, so he probably, probably want to kind of talk to his family, see what's going yeah. on, see what the best for him is, and mm-hmm. go from there. What, um, I'm going to ask you, uh, what did you think of this NBA Finals? Oh, I mean, I think I think it's good for the league. I mean, there's a, there's a team that's 
on a higher pedestal than anybody else. So, Come yes. So I mean, Warriors. yeah. Someone, someone got to find a way to knock that team off, and and once that happens, it, I mean, everybody, people say they're not going to watch the league anymore, but they're going to watch. Yeah, it. Yeah, they're going to watch it. Yeah. Just, just said it. They're not going to watch it again. It's going to be a a circle. Just say I'm not going to watch it. But um, I think I think it's good for the league. I, I love that Warriors team because they they play well together too. Yeah, Kevin Durant has been on the team for a year now, and he he, he just. He like been playing, he been playing with them for life. Like yeah. that team is so good. So I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm ready for next season. To see. So. Well, uh, what's your, what's your, um, what was your take? Who did you think was gonna win the finals before the finals started? Jimmy? I had Warriors in six. Okay, you know, it's f- this is the interesting. All the kids I interviewed yeah. at the Under Armour thing, um, I would say 99 percent of them. There was one, one or two. I, I think Moses Brown. All of them said Cleveland. Yeah, I mean, it's, which is which is just like I was like, I know you play basketball, I know you're skilled, but you are not. It's, it's, that, I thought everybody was until like, the first game, like oh, woo. well, then the second game, like oh, yeah, I mean, Cleveland got to win one at home. Then the game three, yeah, when they, when they, they threw their best shot at them, and then Kevin Durant made the pull up three, and next thing you know they down one. I was like, ooh. Yeah. No, but you, it, what's interesting is a lot of guys, even though they play, yeah. Um, and there was some other questions I asked them too, and they just gave like some of the most. You, it's not ridiculous. It is ridiculous, but it's unique. I'm like, are you sure you're gonna say that? It's like, um, meaning, like they believe this guy's going to round one lottery pick, or this team's gonna win. I'm like. I don't think it's gonna be, you yeah. know, but I mean, but those are high but it, was, it was still close games. Those are high school players, so, yeah. so right now they're thinking just off, like just I guess one court stuff. Like when you get older, you think about like the logistics, the oh, yeah. the what's going on, like who's playing well at the right time, yeah. matchups. You you just think like two teams together, LeBron's better than anybody on the Warriors team, but you always think that that. Tristan Thompson got to play well oh, he, too. He didn't show up. He didn't show up. Yeah, I mean it's kind of it's got like people. A lot of people say he didn't show up really. Like he got he guarded Kevin Durant away from the basket, so he can't get defense. He can't get any defense yeah. rebounds, and they're 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 pretty much triple team and double team off of rebounds, so he can't get any offense rebounds. So yeah. it's kind of, it's kind of rough. I mean, didn't some some of the guys just didn't show up until like game three, four yeah. afterwards. Uh, they were close. I, I really thought like game three was close, right? Yeah. Until KD walked up and hit that game-winning three, yeah, literally. The thing is, LeBron, LeBron holds no fault in, in that in that in that finals. No, he, no, he LeBron can't. was nasty. He can't. He, he averaged a triple double, and Kyrie played well too. So it's just like it just that team. He was I, I, I think the word that word team, the best team that ever played. Yeah, uh, team ball, man. It's yeah, just moving the ball around, they, getting the shots. They, they lost. Six, they, they only they won six, six games. And how long KD was out for? Like a month. Yeah. So KD wasn't out for a month. They would have won even more. They would have cracked. They would have cracked the 70, 70 easily. Yeah, that that would have been a very bad idea too to, to uh, try to break that record again. Yeah, that would. I mean, that last year was kind of just uh, that was insane. Mentally fatigue. Yeah, yeah. They just got to the point where like we're. I think it's because of all the media now compared to years ago. Like when Jordan won it, it you get coverage. Yeah. But you don't get like twenty four seven like. Everybody's on Twitter talking about it, Instagram, talk, Facebook talking about it, over the phone talking about it. You know, you don't have that much of a proliferation of that. Um, so that's one of the things. Uh, off topic, um, before we wrap it up, any cool shows or movies you're watching? Uh, no, nah, I mean, I just saw the, the new Tupac movie, All okay. Eyes on Me, okay. which was, uh, it was a good movie, just really long. Yeah. Uh, so... That's a really what about TV shows? TV shows? Yeah, I mean, I, you have Netflix when you're in Dallas or Amazon Prime. Uh, I watch a lot of Netflix and uh, Hulu. Okay, but, uh, what you have? Like, top three? Top three. Uh, to be honest, I really don't watch TV like that. I just, just kind of just stay on my play, You just play basketball. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, just random videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and, I'll, and you always got to keep your eyes on ESPN. Okay. So, so early morning ESPN, first take. Sports yeah, center, so, I mean, there's just noise, man. Sometimes I just feel like it, it, it makes it's it, it's sticky. It's sticky. Like you want to watch it. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a lunchroom debate. Yeah, that, that's nationally televised. So I mean, 
Absolutely. That, that's all. That's all their shows. The, the, the jump, the first okay. kick, all of this, all. What, can you tell me one thing? Uh, SC6. What does that six stand for? SC6. The, the Jamie Hill and the other guy, they have a show, they have a program together. Uh, I don't know that, man. What, okay, because I'm like trying to figure out what does six stand for. Um, so you have, you can't name any Netflix top shows you would recommend. No, nah, I wish. I okay. wish I had to start oh, watching. You you're not a dedicated one. You just see whatever yeah, shows. Yeah, I see whatever on and click it. Yeah. What's um What's the coolest YouTube video you saw this month? Uh, oh my god. Um, I don't know. S- how about songs? The songs, the news. Uh, I mean, the Young Thug album. The Young yep. Thug album just came out, and okay. I, I've been glued to it for the last like. A week and a half, so it's, okay. It's okay, funny. young young thug is on your rotation. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say that out loud because a lot of people kind of look at him sideways. I mean, I looked at him sideways until this album came out. So why what he do? Oh, because the way he what he He's, wears. He is with what he wears, the way he's rapped. Uh, it's, it's funny. Um, there's I have a young young thug song in Ooh. my in my um phone, but it's a it's one from two summers ago, I think. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. Right. Um. All right, we're wrapping it up. Uh, is there anything else we need to cover or hit on? Yeah, no, nah, I think we, I think we covered it all. Covered oh, what do you think they're gonna do next season? The Rutgers. Yeah. Uh, they definitely gonna improve. Uh, they, they brought some good guys in. Uh, the point guard they brought in is really, really good. Okay. Uh, uh, and then just another year of them under Jay Pikes and them. Just they're gonna, they're gonna improve this year. And a lot of teams gonna hate coming into Piscataway, New Jersey to. First Rockers. Oh, uh, what about Stony Brook? Oh, uh, Stony Brook is uh, right now. Um, they're they're learning. I mean, yeah. Bowles Bowles is a great coach over there. Um, my guy Tyrell Sturdivant is improving every day. Yeah. Uh, they got some athletic guys on that team. Yeah. And uh, it's gonna be fun to watch. I can't wait to watch that Rutgers versus Stony Brook game again. It's gonna be funny. Wow. Nice man. Nice. Yeah. Jameel Warney. Woo. We're out. Um, uh, I don't know if you, since you're not. On social media, much? Yeah, nah, not not really, but full course meals, full course meals. That's on Twitter, right? Yep. Okay. That's on Twitter. All right.